Morning to you at home as well. Prime Minister Kevin Rudd and opposition leader Tony Abbott are expected to spend much of today preparing for their first debate of the election campaign. They'll go head to head tonight at the National Press Club in Canberra. It comes as a new opinion poll shows the coalition in front one week into the campaign. The Galaxy poll, published by News Limited this morning, puts the coalition on 51%, Labor at 49% on a two party preferred basis. Primary support for the ALP is down two points to 38%, while the coalition is up one to 45 The support's <laughs> gone down a little bit. You must be worried. Are uh, you hoping that it well, would have gone Well, I remember, up? I think what we said originally was that uh, we ended this race as the underdogs, and we're still the underdogs. Nothing's much changed. Kevin Rudd is in Canberra this morning and Tony Abbott is in Sydney. And you can watch the Great Leadership Debate live tonight at 6.30 on GEM. Meantime, the Labor Party is this morning searching for two new faces after it dumped candidates in Victoria and Queensland. It's believed Kevin Rudd demanded the resignation of Jeff Lake after it was revealed he admitted to verbally abusing a disabled woman at a council meeting more than a decade ago. In a statement overnight, the Prime Minister said it was inappropriate for Mr Lake to continue as an endorsed candidate. Meantime, another man running for the party in far north Queensland withdrew his candidacy after accusing opposition leader Tony Abbott of being a racist. A man has been charged with murder after the death of a woman at a McDonald's restaurant in Sydney's southwest yesterday. The 38-year-old man and the 30-year-old woman, believed to be his partner, were found injured in the toilets of the McDonald's at Gregory Hill at around 2.30. The woman was taken to hospital but died a short time later. The man was treated for minor injuries. He was charged with one count of murder overnight and will appear in court today. Young staff at the restaurant are currently being offered counselling. Northern Ireland's police chief has described the latest round of riots in the capital Belfast as mindless anarchy. More than 50 officers were injured after being pelted with bricks and bottles by loyalist protesters as a Republican parade passed through the city. A victim of loyalist anger. The armoured officer was knocked unconscious when protesters threw missiles, including metal drain covers, at police. The crowd of over a thousand gathered in Belfast city centre last night to protest against a planned Republican rally. Whilst in neighbouring streets we saw well, I can only describe it as a mindless anarchy. Police used water cannon to try to disperse the volatile crowd, while the Republican anti-internment march was rerouted close by. There were still sectarian clashes, with cars set on fire and more missiles thrown. Loyalists say the Republican parade glorified terrorism and should have been banned. We've got this stage now where working class Protestants, loyalists, whatever you want to describe them as, you know, feel like white trash. I think that they don't believe that they live in a city of equals or a, or a Northern Ireland of equals, and I think that, that needs to stop. Loyalists have also rejected Republican claims that paramilitary groups planned the attacks on police. So the rat that took place was deliberate, it was orchestrated, and the people who orchestrated it need to um, come out and, and, and talk about it. Parades in Northern Ireland have long been contentious. This has been one of the most difficult marching seasons in recent times. There is a plan for political talks in the next few months to try to find a peaceful solution. And Sydney is set to turn on a perfect day for the annual City to Surf run. A record 85,000 people have registered for what is the world's biggest run from the city to Bondi Beach. Charities will be the biggest winners with thousands of people taking part to raise money. Drivers and residents though in the CBD and the eastern suburbs should expect traffic delays. Most roads are expected to be reopened by lunchtime. And Tony Abbott of course will be among the runners. A few people have been tweeting so my mission today is to beat Tony yeah. Abbott.